Today is August 14, 2022. Pakistan has, alhamdulillah, completed 75 years of experience. And what if 75 years have been? The first headline that I have drawn with me dawn is dawn published in Delhi in, on August 15, 1947. We also have a Pakistani edition, but the one that you are seeing is in much better shape. You see, the tragedy was Pakistan was born in bloodshed. Qaeda Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the man who founded Pakistan, by any standard, a remarkable man, by any standard, absolutely great man, I'd say, a man with a razor sharp intelligence and armed to the teeth with the art of a statement, put and go. He created Pakistan and he wanted, after freedom, Pakistan and India would both have a friendly relations and dawn would come out both in Delhi and in Karachi. But my friends, I regret to say, there was a headline in Donna a day earlier, Pakistan, Jindabad. This was too much for some people. I mean, a gang of Mahasabhais, right-wing fanatics, attacked and burned on. So Jinnah's dream, dream of the great man, the great Jinnah, the great leader, came to nothing. And dawn started coming only from Pakistan. Within a year of Pakistan's coming to being, the great Jinnah died. Well, Pakistan was there and Jinnah died and Don's headline is very appropriate. The Qaeda Adam is dead. Long live Pakistan. Within three years, another tragedy was to strike Pakistan. And that was the assassination of his right-hand man. Pakistan's first Prime Minister, Khan Liaquat Ali Khan. In October 1958, a great tragedy occurred. Marcella was imposed and constitution was abrogated. You see, Don's heading was very appropriate. Constitution abrogated. Marcella came in this second headline, as we generally say, in the second deck. Why was Marcella imposed? It is true there was political instability. But political instability should not be confused. The state in Pakistan was quite stable. There was no threat to Pakistan. Uh, then in 1958, October, Governor General Iskandar Mirza, and he did it with the help and consent of the Army Chief General, later Field Marshal Ayyub Khan. Twenty days later, Iskandar Mirza, the President, was made to go, and Ayyub became the Chief. What kind of a man Ayyub Khan was? Personally, I feel he was a thorough gentleman. His government was Kitogen, no doubt, but he did many good things. He industrialized Pakistan. And in spite of being America's ally, Pakistan drew closer to China. And PIA became the first airline, first free world airline to fly to China. It was a great progression to America. Nevertheless, it was a great event. In 1965, of course, there was war. There were hostilities, there was ceasefire violence in, in, in Kashmir and Ayub Khan thought, the government thought, that if there is an escalation, it would remain confined to Kashmir. Within 20 days, 21 days, I think, there was a kind of a draw. Both sides had lost offensive capacity. A ceasefire was imposed. Later, the Soviet Union offered to mediate. And so a Tashkent Declaration was signed. It was a very controversial agreement. And Mr. Bhutto was against it. It didn't even mention the word Kashmir in it. It merely said Soviet Union would try to find, help Pakistan India find solutions to their problems. The word Kashmir wasn't there. That marked the decline of Egypt's regime. Bhutto was uh, uh, going to become a hero. He was ultimately arrested. There were popular demonstrations against Egypt Khan in both Pakistan and India, uh, East and West Pakistan. And so, once again, the new army chief, General Jaya Khan, Agha Muhammad Khan, took over. Ayyub wanted martial law, but uh, 
Yahya Khan said, Sir, with full respect to you, martial law will be imposed, but you have to leave. Another constitution was abrogated. What will follow later is something relatively fine in the sense martial law to came to ice, but the constitution wasn't abrogated. In this case, General Yahya Khan abrogated what was called Ayyub's constitution, that's the 1962 constitution. He held Pakistan the most transparent election. There is no doubt about that. So elections were held. Unfortunately, there were seeds of separation in those elections because neither party was able to win election in both East and West Pakistan. In East Pakistan, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman's Awami League swept the election. Only one man, Nurul Amin, didn't belong to Awami League. Otherwise, all the seeds belong to Awami League. In West Pakistan, Mr. Bhutto served the election. Unfortunately, Mujibur Rahman, the six points became very controversial. West Pakistan wasn't ready. All law and order collapsed. People started fleeing. Millions of East Pakistanis, our people, our national, they started moving to India. It was an occasion for India, as they used to say, a golden opportunity for India to break off Pakistan. So then war broke out. India attacked Pakistan. It was an internal domestic Pakistani issue. India had no bloody business, sorry for my language. It had no business to attack Pakistan. It attacked Pakistan and the result was a disaster. War till victory. It's a very deceptive headline. The headline should have been Army surrenders in Dhaka. Indian Army enters Dhaka. That was the end of Jinnah's Pakistan. Dinas Pakistan was cut into two, less than a week after the fall of Dhaka. The headline says, civilian government today, yeah, yeah, quitting Bhutto due. So, Zifakal Ali Bhutto was to become country's first civilian martial law administrator. Mr. Bhutto put Pakistan on the map by very many means. Among one of his achievements was he held the Islamic summit. All great leaders came. On July 5, 1977, the army chief Yawla took over. He imposed martial law, but he didn't abrogate the constitution. He was the first man who used this noble word, accountability, to persecute opposition. He had Mr. Bhutto arrested and on a charge of murder. Mercy plea came from all over the world, especially from the Arab world. They begged uh, Yawla not to hang the poor. He promised them in Haram, in Makkah. He told Yasir Arafat he wouldn't hang the Bhutto. I don't know whether it's true or not. In any case, Mr. Bhutto was hanged. The Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan. It's a date which no Pakistani can forget. 100,000 Soviet troops in Afghanistan, my God, Pakistan was panicking. But Pakistan also got some friends, especially Uncle Sam. Reagan came to power and he was the rightist and he came in a big way. And aid came from not only America, but from Muslim countries like Saudi Arabia and Egypt. Pakistan started, hope Pakistan hosted Mujahideen. There were Mujahideen base camps in Pakistan. Now, ultimately, the Soviet Union withdrew. But the consequences for Pakistan were horrible. Javlok died. I mean, I'm jumping in time. There was no one to control them. Here, at least, yeah, had the control over them. Karashnikov and heroin. Pakistan became known. You see, Yavrak was a ruthless dictator. One of the examples was the way generals were flogged. Masudullah Khan, Nasir Zaidi, Khabar Naim, and Iqbal Jafri. On May 13, 1978, they were flogged. Of course, it was a military court. And it's, but it was the civilian government's uh, approval. Many laws he made by stroke of the pen. For instance, Zakat and Usher ordinance, he issued it. 
then blasphemy ordinance hudud ordinance they were all issued by a stroke of the pen jawlak dismissed the government of his own protege mr jonojo after using 58 to be then elections must be held within 90 days but because benazir had been had married and she was pregnant so he coincided the election in a way that benazir should not be able to move freely so he deliberately violated the constitution and instead of 3 months he delayed it well that didn't work finally there was an air crash on august 17 1988 in december benazir was was the prime minister it was something absolutely extraordinary god has shown his power that wondered would would uh, bhutto's party ever come to power main benazir bhutto sit ke dil se sit ke dil se hal uthati hu hal uthati hu main khulus e niyat se main khulus e niyat se pakistan ki hami pakistan ki hami aur wafadar rahu aur wafadar rahungi muslim world's first roman prime minister by any standard a great woman this woman prime minister could manage only for 20 months and using the same 58 to be clause gulam shah khan dismissed the government and ordered a new election it so happened that the next prime minister to be elected was nawaz sharif the only remarkable achievement even which i remember during the anniversary first 16th as spm was that pakistan won the world cup imran khan was the captain for the achievement to him cup comes to pakistan the headline should have been pakistan is world champion he fell victim again to 58 to be and by the same man by gulam shah khan because the army wasn't happy with him he was dismissed elections were held and benazir came to power for the second time in i think in 1993 this was to be a little longer stay but not what she deserved the full 5 years according to the term of it she was dismissed again by a man who belonged to zone party hawk lagari dismissed him dismissed her government using the same 58 to be clause which had been abused so when this era the second uh, Instant as Prime Minister, she when her became Prime Minister the first time she visited America, and what a reception she got! She was among those people who addressed the Congress, and the Congress went wild. They gave her standing ovations. She went to America twice, where there was a press conference with Clinton, and I can tell you, tell you, ladies and gentlemen, Clinton had his own charisma. but that day everybody says benazir overshadowed clinton well benazir's dismissal was followed by mr nawaz sharif second stint as prime minister and uh, it was a short one i mean from uh, february 1997 to october 99 in 1998 india conducted another nuclear test sometimes they did back in 1970s when bhutto was in power now they did it a second time and as always true to indian record near pakistan's border the issue was would pakistan respond main kisi buzdil aur atat pasand qaum ka numainda nahi hu pakistan responded in a great way pakistan went nuclear the coup was planned Musharraf had given the go-ahead, if necessary, overthrow the government. So, the drama about uh, the plane a hijacking from ground, something extraordinary. The plane wanted to land, and they didn't wish to the plane to land here. It had no choice but to go to India and then come back. And it was running short of fuel, and for God's sake, and every possible. obstacles were created on the runway for the plane not to land but then ultimately the plane did land and by late midnight by midnight mr nawaz sharif second stint as prime minister came to an end dear brothers and sisters your armed forces have never and shall never let you down inshallah
One of the most unfortunate episodes in Pakistan's history, a prime minister was arrested. He was tried. If I remember correctly, he was given two life sentences. And then it was arranged that he would go on exile. Great events that shook the world happened when uh, Pakistan was being ruled by General Musharraf, Karbaz Musharraf. It is what is known as 9-11. When hijackers flew planes into the Twin Towers in New York, attempted to do the same at White House and at the Pentagon, America was keen to take it out on somebody. If Musharraf had refused, then the army said, we should bomb Pakistan into Stone Age. Musharraf saved Pakistan. We have to pay a price. It's a terrible price. There is no doubt about that. I must refer to 2007. It was a horrible December. I cannot forget it. Ben Azir returned. The people willing to kill her. They thought it was a religious duty. So first, her procession coming from Karachi airport to the city was bombed. And then, she survived. Then finally, when on it, on a action campaign, she was in Rawalpindi, and there the suicide bomb was struck. And the great woman, by any standard, the Muslim world, the first woman prime minister, was assassinated. It's a matter of record. Those who killed, they congratulated each other. It came in the print. Is it? Who did that? We. Really, our boy did it. Oh, congratulations, congratulations. Well, good job, good job done. We are our boy? Indeed, fine. So, this was how they celebrated the Prime Minister's murder. Tariq Taliban Pakistan went on a killing spree. It went on long after Musharraf had gone away. But that bombing, it has included such, such a horrible thing at the massacre of uh, at Peshawar Public Army School. They massacred. Among those, they massacred 122 children. Is that way to register your protest against foreign policy? And the teacher, they killed her and threw and burned her body. Is that how you, you, you express your anger or your sentiment over human foreign policy? 80,000 people were killed. This was the price they said, we paid for it. We had no option. America would have bombed us. Musharraf held an election, and relatively fair election. And People's Party, a PPP government came to power. Zardari as president and a Pakistani prime minister, and a PPP prime minister, a murder of Osama bin Laden, the man behind 9-11. American shields carried out a commando raid. It's a matter of shame, which must be recorded that he was killed in an operation in Abbottabad, a garrison town. Pakistan didn't know anything about it. When elections were held the next time, after it completed five years, Mr. Nawaz Sharif's PMN won power. Mr. Nawaz Sharif returned from Saudi Arabia and he was elected prime minister a third time and again, it will end in a tragedy of sorts. He was tried for corruption. Decision was made in eight months by the Supreme Court. He went on saying, I'm innocent. I don't know what's my crime. Well, he was convicted and then he was allowed to go abroad. Nawaz's departure was followed by another election and as I said, each time the election in Pakistan, the government party loses. So Imran Khan's party, Pakistan, Tariq Insaf, won the election. He became Prime Minister of Pakistan. That would last for three and a half years. Before we wind up, we also have to record something, a curse, not just for Pakistan, for the whole world which came in the form of coronavirus. It enveloped the world. 
इट वॉज एब्सोल्यूटली मर्सिलस वर्ल्ड कैजलटीज वर सिक्स मिलियन अमेरिका सफर मोर देन ए मिलियन कंपेयर टू दैट पाकिस्तान सफर ओवर थ्राइवली ओवर थर्टी थाउजेंड डेथ्स बाई जुलाई फिफ्टीन दिस ईयर दैट वॉज थैंक गॉड दैट्स ऑल्सो एक्सेप्ट द पी टी आई गवर्नमेंट वॉज गुड एट टेकिंग एंटी वैक्सीनेशन एंटी कोविड मेजर सो पाकिस्तान सफर थर्टी थाउजेंड कैजलटीज and the government did a good job but in operation was concerned and uh, the disease was controlled let's hope such a curse such a disease will not again grip mankind ladies and gentlemen this is the story of dawn this is the story of pakistan and pakistan's story has been recorded on bronze pages and in headlines history has been painful the good moments also let's hope pakistan marches from victory to victory democracy is consolidated and whatever happens pakistan marches as a strong and prosperous country